Welcome to your new Verge IP phone from Allworks. Sit back and let's learn about configuring your Verge IP phone programmable buttons. The Verge IP phone series includes the following phone models. The 9304 has four programmable buttons. The 9308 has eight programmable buttons. And the 9312 has 12 programmable buttons. The Verge 9312 phone supports up to three additional 9318 EX expanders. Each of the expanders supports up to 18 programmable buttons for a total of 66 programmable buttons. This training video uses the 9312 for demonstration purposes, but all phones and expanders use the same method when configuring these programmable buttons. A programmable button is customizable for functionality. The Allworks administrator controls the primary functionality of the programmable buttons, but can give users permissions to customize the buttons with the following features. Contact, monitors, dials, or transfers a call to the assigned contact. Park, places the active call on a system-wide hold. Redial. Calls the last dialed outbound call placed from the phone. Release. Ends the current call and accesses the current appearance to dial a new call. Flash. Provides an analog hook flash signal to the CO line to perform flash-related actions. Hot Desk. Logs into shared phones to receive or place calls using your assigned caller ID. Bluetooth hands-free. Connects a Bluetooth device to the Verge 9312 phone only. This advanced feature is covered in more detail in a separate training video. DND sets the present status to Do Not Disturb. None removes the current functionality from the programmable button. The easiest way to access the button programming screen is by pressing a blank programmable button and answer yes to the confirmation. Just an FYI, you can also access this screen by navigating to the phone settings screen. Now you can select which programmable button you want to configure. The black unassigned buttons on the left indicate the Allworks administrator has given you permission to configure these programmable buttons while the gray unassigned buttons on the right indicate you do not have permissions to configure these programmable buttons. So, let's select the top left programmable button. The phone displays the Select Function button screen. Use the up and down navigation keys to scroll through and highlight the function option that you want to configure on the programmable button. Once you have selected the function, press the Select button. When selecting the Contact function, you are also required to highlight and select which user to assign to the programmable button. Repeat this process until you are satisfied with your programmable button configurations. Then press the Apply soft key. The Verge phone requires you to reboot the phone to save the changes. So, go ahead and press the Reboot soft key. And the Verge phone is customized for you. Finally, the Verge phone is versatile, so if you need to change one of the user-customizable programmable button functions, just follow this process and update the function as necessary. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to configure your Verge phone programmable buttons. For more information about using any of the phone features, check out our other Verge videos or download the Allworks Verge IP phone user guide, available at www.allworks.com.